Hello, I'm Neil. Thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how some of the speed keys work on YouTube. When I found these, they save so much time, especially if, like me, you spend so much time watching YouTube videos. You can actually control the YouTube player using your keyboard. It's so much faster than clicking around on the screen with, if you're using a desktop. Let's bring the camera around and dive in. So the first one you've probably used already, you can start and stop the video by pressing the space bar. Uh, this, by the way, is uh, my warning from history, British beauty contest for the 1970s that I'm using as a demonstration. Now the next, the next button that can help is this one, the F. If you press F, the video goes full screen. And if you press F again, it brings it back into its box. That's a useful one. F for full screen. The one I use the most next is one I had no idea, and it's not actually listed on Google's web page for the speed keys. If you hold down Shift, you get these uh, sort of diagonal brackets above the comma and the full stop. If you hold down Shift right bracket, look what happens. I don't know if you can see that. The speed goes all the way up to two times speed. If you click left brackets it slows down again so we can go down to 1 or 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.25. So that's really helpful. When I'm watching long videos I can just speed through them and you can still hear what's going on and that way I end up watching more videos which is good. Next to the speed keys, well, without pressing the shift even, if you press the full stop, let's pause it, if you press the full stop, it inches the video forward one frame at a time. Oh, that's good, I chose this video, isn't it? Because you can see on the time code, let's make it full screen by pressing F. If you press, keep pressing the full stop button. Can you see the frames are going forward one frame at a time? And, cleverly, if you press the comma button, it goes back one frame at a time. Now this is really useful for when you're trying to grab thumbnails. If you're making YouTube videos, you can use the comma or the full stop button. Or sorry, in America I know you call it the period button. If you press the period button, <laughs> you can get to exactly the right frame that you need. So that's a really useful button to use on the speed keys. So we've done speeding around. Let's do some more speeding around to take it off full screen. Instead of pressing spacebar for stop or pause, you can also use the K, the, the letter K, and I'll show you why that's useful now. Because next to the K is the L. If you press the L button, it jumps forward 10 seconds. Let's keep it playing. You can see it's jumping forward 10 seconds each time. If you press the J, it jumps back 10 seconds. If you want to make smaller jumps, just go down to the, your arrow keys. If you press the right arrow, it jumps forward only 5 seconds at a time. And the left arrow, back 5 seconds. You click up, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, it says 35%, 40%, 45%, all the way up to 100%. And if you click the down arrow on your keyboard, it decreases the volume of the YouTube video. So that's really useful. To show you one final useful keyboard shortcut, your numbers actually jump to the same percentage in the video. So if you wanted to go to the midway point, if you click on 5, it jumps to the middle of the video. If I click on 1, it goes to 10% in the video. If I click on 0, it goes to the start of the video. If I click on 9, it goes to 90% in the video. So if you know roughly where you want to jump to, you can kind of guess it from the numbers. If I want to go sort of near the start, press 2, it jumps to 20% in the video. If I want to jump to near the end, let's go to 8 for 80% of the video. 
and we're at the end of the video. And now we're at the end of this video. I hope this video has helped. I hope you haven't needed to jump back too many times. I've put all of the speed keys in the description below. I hope this video has helped. If you've reached this point of the video, uh, why not give me a thumbs up just to let me know that somebody reached this point and it might have helped someone somewhere. And if you're feeling really kind, why not click on the subscribe button in the bottom of this video. Every subscription takes us closer to 1,000 subscribers and we really appreciate it. There's a link to this horrendous video <laughs> at the top of the screen now. And I hope that you manage to watch even more YouTube videos. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. How was that?